Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Santiago with Midnight Tech Reviews and today I have with you a special video on every on something that everybody's hyped about for the past few months. Android L on the Nexus 5. Obviously not everybody's hyped about it just on the Nexus 5, but the fact that it's almost out and the developer preview has been available to us for a while now, even though it's not meant for the you know general public and it's meant for developers but you can still use it if you want and at least gives you a taste of what Android L is going to look like in front of you you see my LG G3 on the right of and on the left you see my Motorola Max HD which again I want to factory reset and clean and everything and then compare to how it does against new phones like the LG G3 and the Nexus 5 so we're going to go ahead and put those to the side for now and I'm going to go ahead and grab the Nexus 5. So Nexus 5, again, if you guys didn't know which one I have, it's the white one. So you have your white earpiece, white background, white back piece, and then just really nice overall sleek look. 16 gigabytes and very, very fast. I love this phone. This quickly became my favorite phone that I've had in so many years. The LG G3 is an amazing phone, but it's not my daily driver anymore. But it is still a really good phone. I just like the speed and the clean look of the Nexus 5 that it comes with. So first of all, when you unlock your uh, your Nexus 5, you get this really cool lock screen. And now you can swipe up to unlock. And swipe right to get to your dialer. Let me lower the, the, the brightness. You can swipe right to get to your dialer. And you can swipe left to get to your camera, which has always been there from KitKat too. So we're going to go ahead and close out of those apps. On the home screen, you oh, on the on the lock screen, you also get notifications iOS style like from the iPhone. So they'll actually be on your lock screen if you choose and you can get rid of them and everything and preview them from right there, which is really really nice. So the first thing you're going to notice is the notification. First of all, now everything is um, uh, you know, everything's see-through your notification bar and your, and your software buttons but um, if you pull down on your notification bar on your status bar you get your notifications and this is all you get when you first pull down that's all you're gonna get unless you have notifications and they'll be listed going down but that's all you're gonna get what you do is you click on it or you can pull down I just click on it and you get this really cool new settings menu quick settings menu so you have your Wi-Fi your Bluetooth your service provider, your airplane mode, your notifications, your auto rotate toggle, which we didn't have before, which is great to have now, your location toggle, and your cast screen. Also, if you go into settings, settings have also been revamped. So now all the words are gray and all the icons are teal colored, pretty much. And all of these have pretty much been a little bit redone. So it kind of looks like you have a skin on top of everything. It looks like like they layered something on top of the old one but it's really nice it's really clean it's really got a simple but attractive design to it which I love I love it it's it's great so everything has pretty much this nice new little sleek design your software buttons are now you know different I'll show you what they look like before on Android KitKat And it's just overall cool. <laughs> so you still have your um, Google Now launcher from KitKat. If you swipe to the to the right, you get your Google Now application. And if you say, OK, Google, how tall is Michael Jordan? Michael Jordan is six feet, six inches tall. OK, Google, where can I eat hamburgers? Here are the listings for Hamburger's Restaurant. You still have that, and it works perfectly great. It works perfect. Great voice recognition. In fact, it does better than my LG G3 by far in recognizing that I said the keywords and in recognizing what I'm saying as a command. And it's also faster in looking things up. Now, the cool thing about it is now you can open it from anywhere on your phone. It doesn't just have to be from the home screen. So I can say, OK, Google and it'll open from right there but when you close it you'll end up at the home screen again so there's not really too much that I can say about Android L as of yet 
except that, you know, what I've shown you right now, because what you see right now is mostly just visual differences. And the fact that the phone is now running on art the entire time, there's no Dalvik um, option anymore, it's just art, so that's pretty cool. The fact that art is supposed to make your phone performance boost up and go so much faster and work towards its complete capacity and ability. But uh, I mean, I've definitely noticed slight differences in better performance and my battery has been lasting a little bit longer to be honest. But, uh, I mean, as of yet, since this is still just a preview, I don't know every change that's going to be on here yet. If you go into About Phone, you can see that I am running Android version L. And this is my build number, so I'm, I'm running on the LPV81C. This phone was rooted when I installed Android L, but then I went ahead into SuperSU and I unrooted it. So it's just running Android L with an unlocked bootloader. And it has a custom recovery on it, but it's not a rooted phone anymore. And I'm not going to root it right now. I don't think I'm going to root it again until I've actually, um, until I've actually gotten my hands on the real version of, of, of L. So until that comes out, I won't. My LG G3 is rooted, so I can always just, uh, you know, do game reviews and things like that on that phone. Plus, to be honest, LG G3 probably does better in, in handling high-end high -end games. Even though you won't notice too much of a difference because I do play high-end games on this phone or I tested them out before and they did amazing. Uh, again, on your icons, you actually get a changed camera icon. And the only problem with Android L, to be honest, in terms of applications is another thing. Is that it won't run every game, mostly games in my opinion. It won't run every game. Facebook, Snapchat, things like that still run perfectly fine. But there's very few games that you can play as of right now. Dead Trigger 2 is one of them. Uh, Riptide is one of them. I don't have it on here. Game Dev Story is one of them, which I love. I love that game. It's just addicting. But apart from that, you know, I haven't been able to play too many games on Android L. But I'm not a gamer too much. But if I want to do any game reviews, I can always just do them on here. So that's great. And this is now my daily driver, guys. So I hope you guys stay tuned for the LG G3 versus Nexus 5 comparison. So you guys can see the differences. My Nexus 5 will be running on the Google Now Launcher with Android L. And my LG G3 will be running on its regular skin, uh, LG skinned, but um, it'll have the, the Nova Launcher on it. So I hope you guys are waiting for that video and I hope you guys start subscribing, like this video, comment what you think I could do better. And I hope you guys stay tuned because I'm gonna be coming out with a bunch of game reviews, mod reviews, and then just a bunch of application that are application reviews for things that are just handy in everyday life, like Feedly and and, and things like that. So I'll see you guys around. Hit that like button and uh, stay tuned for the next video.